guys, welcome back to another episode of Romaine Healthy. This is a channel where Laura and I help you cook more plant-based meals in the kitchen, get you excited about cooking, and ultimately get you healthier or to remain healthy. So today we're going to make another simple recipe, only four ingredients. We're gonna make guacamole. So who doesn't love a good guacamole at a party, especially a fresh batch of guacamole? It's just not the same when you buy it in the store. So this is another recipe with only four ingredients. We have avocados, limes, cilantro, and you don't even necessarily need cilantro, and garlic. So here are my ingredients. I have two massive, massive avocados. I don't know if you can tell. And of course I didn't measure anything. I have fresh cilantro here that I'm just going to chop up a little bit before I mix it together. I chopped up garlic already and I cut a lime in half so you could probably smell the goodness already. Of course I had like a little pinch of salt. You could also add cumin in there. You could put anything in your, in your guacamole, but this is just the basic ingredients, the foundation for making good guacamole. It's good avocados so that when you press them, they give a little bit. If they're too hard, they're not gonna peel well for you. If they're too soft, they're kind of brown and yucky inside. That's how you know it's a, it's a good one. When they turn ripe, I actually put them in my refrigerator and I find that they last a couple more days and if I would keep them out. So in case you're curious, I will show you how I usually cut an avocado. You guys may have a good way already. I've never used this film angle before, but let's give it a go. So I usually cut it lengthwise all the way around the long way and kind of open it up. It's a little bit brown, but that's okay. If you can take this out easily, I would do that. And I throw in here my avocado into the bowl, this kind of gets, and if you're scraping, it's good to scrape a little bit on the inside. This is actually where all the good vitamins are, right next to the skin here. So if you get a little bit of extra of that, just to beef up the nutrition, pun intended with the beef, obviously. <laughs> so we do that with the skin, throw it in your composter, your disposal, and that's that one. I'll do this one again so you can see to go all the way around and just twist like this. So if this was stuck in there, I would just go around it like that or hammer it in and wiggle it out. But it comes out a little bit easier that way. And then we, oh, this one just peels right out. I love when that happens. So easy. So you can do it that way too. Don't be afraid to get dirty. If you have the half of one, you can scoop it out. Whatever your favorite is. So for this, I'm just gonna chop up my cilantro. I don't always have the freshest of fresh ingredients. I use what I have in my fridge. If you're worried about being perfect or having everything perfect all the time, you'll never cook. So just throw that baby in there, just a handful. I love cilantro. So for garlic, you just kinda the good trick here is that you take a clove, it's all covered with this, um, the casing here, but the most fun way is to put the knife flat on there and slam it down. It smushes it so that it's really easy to peel right out, almost like unwrapping it like a little present. Garlic has some amazing health properties too. I have to always look them up, but they're amazing. So let's just... Do a little, give it a little chop here. It's okay if everything mixes together. One of the greatest things about plant-based cooking is that you don't have to worry about washing your cutting board because there's no meat or any bacteria once you rinse your vegetables off and you can overlap everything. It's all going in the same dish anyway. So squeeze, does everybody have one of these presses? These are awesome for from keeping seeds out, but you can still, if you don't have one, just squeeze your lime in. I love lime. There we go. It's just kind of smush it up with one of these potato mashers. I don't know what they're called, but they're coming super handy for guacamole. You can try with the fork, but I just think it doesn't get in there as much as it should for this. So you mix it up or you smush it until you like it either really smooth or if you like it a little chunky like I do, you don't have to do it as much. That's kind of personal preference. You give it a little bit of a 
tiny bit of salt kind of goes really well with that lime. They always have a tendency to add too much garlic too, so, but I really like garlic. It's really your preference. Make it your own, guys. Um, so kind of done like that. Voila, how long did that take? Probably two minutes. And another awesome trick is to do slice up mango and put it on. It's so good, it just adds that element of sweetness in there. You can do peaches, you can mix in chopped tomatoes. Those are really ripe and delicious, right? And if you don't count the salt, only four ingredients. How stinking easy is guacamole? And this is a winner at parties. People love this stuff. It's so easy to make. It's almost, you feel like you're cheating because it just is so easy to throw together. And it smells incredible. So I'm guessing I'm gonna make tacos tonight of some sort for dinner. Hopefully we'll do a future episode on cauliflower tacos. Oh, they're so good. But any kind of taco, I usually put that on. Chili and soups, now that it's soup season, it's delicious. All right, guys, till next time, I hope you remain healthy. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already or give us an awesome thumbs up and we'll be more motivated and excited to make more videos for you. So that's it for now. Leave your comments below if you have any. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys.